Hi. So I did a review on um, BH Cosmetics BH Party Girl After Hours palette. There are 32 um, eyeshadows in it. This is what the cover looks like. And that's all of the different shades. And um, I thought for this kind of video, I would just show pictures and tell you like my description of them. Um, I did all kinds of swatches on my arms. Um, I did some swatches that was just with an eyeshadow primer, which I used Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion. And then I did swatches with NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk so that the colors would pop and kind of show their true color. And usually when um, I wear bright colors or uh, if I really want the color to pop, I wear or I put um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk as like an eyeshadow base and then I'll go over it with the eyeshadow. So if you want to see any of the colors and... Um, this video isn't very detailed or whatever. You can always check my blog post. Um, I'm going to have all the colors listed there. And you can see swatches and all of that on there as well. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like these types of videos so that I can continue to do them for you and I will talk to you guys very soon bye so this is what the palette looks like uh, I'm going to start off on the first row and work my way down so starting with the first row is this deep dark eggplant shade and swatched on the right is just it by itself on top of a primer and this is it compared to um, it being swatched on top of NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. The second shade is this kind of light purple and swatched it comes off as kind of like just a light shimmery purple. And swatched on top of NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk it comes off a little bit darker and a little bit uh, more shimmery. The third shade is this really light blue. It is very shimmery and it comes off almost white. And next to, um, on top of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, it comes off a little bit darker, but it's still a very light blue color. The fourth shade is this taupe brown. Swatched, it comes off a little bit light with no base underneath it. And um, with the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, it comes off a little bit darker, and it looks more like what it looks like in the actual like pan. The fifth shade is this dark black color with green and blue sparkles in it. Swatched, it doesn't have as much glitter as I would like it to, and this is it with the Jumbo Eye Pencil um, in Milk. The sixth shade is this kind of sandy copper shade. Swatched it comes off a little bit darker than it looks like in the pan. And with the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, it comes off even darker. And it looks kind of just like a brown shade with a lot of shimmer in it. The next shade is this really light tan color. And um, it comes off just looking like a sandy pumpkin color and swatched it comes off darker and looks more like a pumpkin shade. The next color is this really shimmery white color and swatched on my skin which is very fair it looks very very shimmery and almost like my exact skin color. Um, even with the jumbo eye pencil and milk it just kind of has a little bit of a yellow shade to it. And the next row starts off with this very bright silver shade and swatched by itself with just the primer it comes off as like a very shimmery silver and on top of the jumbo eye pencil in milk it comes off as a 
darker silver with a lot of shimmer. The next shade is this deep royal blue. It comes off a little bit navy um, just with the primer on. And then with the jumbo eye pencil in milk, it comes off as that bright royal blue. And the next shade in the pot, it looks kind of like a kind. Of, it reminds me of like a teddy bear brown, but swatched. It comes off kind of like a gray brown. And with the jumbo eye pencil in milk, it comes off like a dark orange brown shade. And the next color is this really light peachy pink and swatched with just the base it comes off almost white with just like a, sh uh, a slight pink to tone to it and then swatched with the nyx jumbo eye pencil it has more of that um, original pink peachy shade to it and this next color is a very bright hot pink and swatched it kind of comes off more as a magenta color and with the jumbo eye pencil in milk, it comes off more of that true hot pink shade. In this next color, it's a very shimmery um, light blue, and it swatches almost exactly how it looks in the pot. And with the jumbo eye pencil in milk, it comes off a little bit darker, but there isn't much of a difference. It's just the same shimmery light blue shade. And this next color, it reminds me of a plum. Um, it's just a dark purple, but it's a little bit different than that first shade that we started with. And then with the jumbo eye pencil, it just is a darker and deeper purple. And the next color is this royal purple. And it took me a very long time to get an actual picture that shows the true color. So swatch by itself, it's just a matte purple, and then with the jumbo eye pencil, it makes it a darker matte purple. And that completes that second row, and we are moving on to the third row. In the third row, it starts off with this light purple that's very shimmery, and it swatches almost exactly how it is in the pot. And then with the jumbo eye pencil in milk, it comes off a little bit darker, and it pops out that original color a little more. This is the second shade, and it's a little bit darker purple, more towards blue than the red shade. And that's it with the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And the next shade is this really light blue that came off a lot darker than it looks in the pot. And when I swatched it with the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, it came off darker as well. Um, which was shocking to me because it looks so pretty and light in the pot. And then this is one of the diamond shades. It comes off very sparkly and a little bit darker than it looks like in the pot. And this is it with the Jumbo Eye Pencil. That sparkles come off a little bit brighter with the eye pencil underneath it. And this is the second diamond shade. It's a very like the royal purple but with a lot of sparkles. And this is it with the jumbo eye pencil and milk underneath it, popping it out a little bit more. And this next shade is a like true gold shade. It comes off looking like a little bit darker than it looks like in the pot. But I really like this shade. And with the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, it comes off as like a darker gold shade. And I think this would look nice underneath blue eyes. And the next shade, it looks like a, like a rosy color, but it comes off more of like a brown shade. And with the Jumbo Eye Pencil, it comes off looking like an even darker brown. This next shade is a very, very dark brown. It kind of reminds me of like a teddy bear, but um, swatched it comes off as like a very matte dark brown. And then with the jumbo eye pencil in milk, it comes off looking almost black. And that completes the third row and we are moving on to the fourth row. And 
the fourth row starts off with this very light purple. There's lots of purples in this palette. This purple is very shimmery and swatched with the Jumbo Eye Pencil. It comes off a lot darker and a lot brighter. And it kind of is very close to that royal purple shade that was matte before. And the second shade is a matte black and it comes off almost gray. And when I swatched it with the Jumbo Eye Pencil, it came off a little bit darker, but it was still a pretty gray shade. It wasn't like a true black. This next shade is, um, it looks like a really light tan shade, but when you swatch it, it comes off as a, a medium brown tone. And then swatched with the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, it comes off even darker. So some of these shades come off looking a lot darker than they actually are in the pot. This next shade is one of the diamond shades as well. It's a very sparkly white shade, and it comes off looking just like glitter. And this is it swatched on top of the Jumbo Eye Pencil. It's just very sparkly, kind of silver. And this is the last shade in the diamond shades. It's a very hot pink with a lot of glitter. And this is it swatched on top of the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This next shade is kind of like a lilac color and it swatches a little bit deeper um, purple than what it looks like in the pot. And with the Jumbo Eye Pencil it comes out really dark. This next color, it's um, a medium blue shade, and it comes off looking kind of like a, um, I'm trying, it, it's hard to explain it. It's kind of like a, just a blue, a basic blue shade, and swatched with a jumbo eye pencil, it looks like a royal blue. And this last color is a very shimmery white shade, and it comes off looking pretty matte whenever I swatched it. And with the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, it looked exactly how Milk looks without anything on top of it. And that is all of the colors. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys later. Bye!